You're absolutely right, Lauren, because Isleta, of course, finished only 7.30, 50 meters backstroke after a very good start. So she's good bouncing off those walls and good, very good at those starts. And once she has that chance in the 100 meters back, she might actually be able to catch a Tian Bien. It's Isleta, Tian Bien, and Salvani almost stroke to stroke besides each other and Fon Prey Yamsuan of Thailand in lane number one keeping pace with him Pedersen is not far away either for a strike in the final 50 meters of this race it is a very good swim in the first 50 from Pedersen you have to say he was in second spot just behind Tian Bien and Salvani but uh, this is where Isleta is so very strong off the wall she is already slightly ahead of Tian Bien can she keep it up though Tian Bien certainly knows everything about Chloe Isleta and her underwater so she's decided to just inch herself ahead right now Pedersen coming right back into this for Singapore just half a body length behind Tian Bien Tian Bien's keeping her eye on Isleta she might not know what uh, Pedersen is doing but Pedersen slowly gassing out Tian Bien though stronger to the finish as she's always been at the Southeast Asian Games Pedersen will do well to hold on for a medal here as Leto wins the second spot and Alcari comes in just to pip Pedersen to bronze medal but the winner yet again is Gui and Tian Bien in the women's 100 meters backstroke Và ở đường bề số 6 đó là niềm kỳ vọng huy chương vàng của Việt Nam Nàng tiên cá của chúng ta Nguyễn Thị Ánh Viên Đường bơi số 7 là vận động viên Indonesia Đó là Risa Devi Và ở đường bơi số 8 là vận động viên người Thái Lan Đó là Sap Yen Thai Và lúc này thì các vận động viên đã bước lên một thi đấu để chuẩn bị cho phần thi bơi của mình nội dung 200m tự do nữ. Và như vậy phần thi nội dung bơi 200m tự do nữ đã chính thức bắt đầu. Đây là phần thi chung kết và Nguyễn Thị Ánh Viên là vận động viên đang bơi ở đường bơi số 6. Lúc này thì các vận động các kinh ngư đã chạm đáy hồ và đang quay trở lại. Những đầu đang là kinh ngư ở đường B số 1. Người Singapore. Lúc này thì ánh viên cũng đang bắt đầu vượt lên có mặt ở trong nhóm dẫn đầu. Rõ ràng là như vậy, lúc này anh Viên đang là vận động viên có cú xoay người đạp vàng đầu tiên Trong lượt bơi này, anh Viên đang dẫn đầu Cách biệt lúc này với người bám đuổi gần nhất là 0,6 giây Ở cú xoay người thứ hai này thì Ánh Viên đang tạo được khoảng cách là gần hơn 0,8 giây so với kinh ngư bám đuổi gần nhất. Chúng ta đang tiến gần đến thêm một tấm huy chương vàng nữa ở môn bơi lội này. Đây là Nguyễn Thị Ánh Viên. Những giây phút rất căng thẳng lúc này thì đã có thêm một kình ngư nữa đang bám đuổi xích sao với Nguyễn Thị Ánh Viên ở đường đua số 2 Chúng ta cùng chờ xem Và như vậy Ánh Viên đã là người về nhất để có được tấm huy chương vàng cho đoàn Việt Nam Thêm một tấm huy chương vàng nữa đã được tiên cáo Nguyễn Thị Ánh Viên mang về Thành tích là 2 phút 0,75 giây Ở nội dung 200m tự do nữ I don't think we'll see that sort of a separation between first and second in this race now because a lot of the field have caught up with Tian Bien and Gan Qinghui is one who want to show that she has caught up through the years she's got the second quickest time among Southeast Asians this year and she's gone head-to-head -head 
face to face and at the same time stroke for stroke with Tian Bien at the opening stages of this race. Yes, I think Ching Hui's race strategy will probably probably be try to be on pace with Tian Bien and hopefully just try to hang on for as long as she can and maybe make a move in the last lap. 0.26 seconds behind only Ashley Lim after a very good 50 meters, uh, almost a second behind the leader Tuan Vien, who will be the early pace setter, and she knows that she'll have to set that pace, and everyone will be chasing her in this field. Such uh, large margins of victories over the last couple of years. Jung Kra Jang of Thailand in lane number three will slowly come up. She was the gold medalist in this event in 2011, has a personal best of 4.14.59 from those Palembang games. But at the moment, it is still Tian Vien in first place, followed by Ching Hui and then Ashley Lim, who is now two seconds behind the leader. Yes, I just hope Ashley is not going out too fast for herself and she's swimming her own race. She might be a little bit overexcited seeing as this is her first major games. Oh, you can't blame her, can you? Sometimes it just gets into you and that adrenaline just kicks into you straight away. Tian Bien's biggest victory came against uh, Ku Chai Lin of Malaysia. That's uh, Ching Hui is making sure that she lives in the same postal district for the time being and finding the perfect time to strike. Both these swimmers are very adept, not just in this 400 meters freestyle, but both are very good 800 meters freestyle swimmers as well. Yes, and Ching Hui will definitely be swimming in the 800 meters freestyle on day six along with Ashley Lim as well. So here we go. This last time Singapore won a medal in this was 2013. Lynette Lim, the last to win a medal, seventh of course in 2017. That's as I said earlier on, she's already clocked a faster time in the heats this morning and probably at uh, 4.13.70 national under-17 record from Tingwen might be under threat. Halfway through the race and she's still within a second and within striking distance of the defending champion. Yes, and in the 400 metres, it is crucial to work the third hundred of the race. If not, you might be totally out. So I think what Tian Bien is doing right now is just trying to pull away from Ching Hui while Ching Hui is just trying to hold on for as long as she can. And she knows that she can hear Tian Bien. She might not be able to breathe her, she might not be able to get close to her, but she can hear her strokes, so she knows how close she is. And the fainter the sound means the further she's pulled away, she doesn't want that to happen. Natanan Junkra Jung is slowly picking up because she usually does so in the second half of the 400 meters freestyle, and she is in third place just ahead of Ashley Lim, who got up to a blitzing start but just cannot keep the pace up. Yes, I think Natanan Junkra Jung might be banking on Ching Hui to fall flat to, in the last 100 meters, but it doesn't seem like that will happen. So the far. crowd's just uh, very quiet, but they might be awoken in a while because uh, Nicole Oliver is making a move as well in lane number six. No one though able to live with uh, Nguyen Tian Vien who turns with 100 meters remaining and she has extended the lead this time to 1.32 seconds, almost a second in that last 100 meters. Gan Ching Wee's got to get a move on now. She's got to put her skates on and she certainly has done that because if you have a look at the splashes on her legs then, she is using her legs a lot more now in this final 100. Yes, by I hope that the gap is not too big between her and Tian Bien because Tian Bien has a pretty decent 100 meters freestyle as well, so she definitely has the speed for it. Now, you can see Natanan Junkra Jung also kicking herself crazy, trying to make sure that she brings herself right up and maybe even fights for a surprise win right here. It might be too little too late though for Natanan Junkra Jung, maybe even Gan Ching Wee, who's now 1.72 seconds behind. At one stage, of course, just 0.32 seconds behind. But this, uh, the gap, certainly too large right now. Nguyen Tian Bien will be an easy victor again in the 400 meters freestyle. Not as dominant, not as big a victory as it was in 2015 or even 2017 because the Singapore girl is slowly closing the gap and she certainly has caught up big time over the years. Well done, Gan Ching Hui. It's only good for a silver medal. Tian Bien will win gold yet again. Gan Ching Hui will have a look at her time. I mean, I'm sure it is a new under-17 national record. It might just be. And Natanan Junkra Jung comes in in third place. And she's lowered those meet records to such crazy extents that it's out of the window now. Well, it's just outside the under-17 record for Gan Ching Hui, but it's a new personal best for her, 4.14. 56. Uh, she's lowered the personal best by almost two seconds. 200 meters IM is a tough one. It seems like it's a pretty fun event because you get to do one stroke per lap, so it doesn't seem very boring and maybe you feel like you have to go pretty hard in all four laps. But if you go in without a plan, you'll just be shocked <laughs> while swimming it. I think in the 200 meters IM, it's all about knowing your strengths and weaknesses. For instance, if your backstroke is your worst stroke, you would have to put in more effort so that you wouldn't fall so far behind everyone else. You might be really tired after that lap taken into consideration that most people do not have a strong pressure leg, even if you don't do your best time in the pressure, you might still be able to catch up and pull away from them.
I can tell you that Azahiro of Indonesia has swum her favorite stroke, which is the butterfly, and still is in second spots behind Tian Bien, who is very, very strong in the backstroke. The moment it hits lake number two onwards, no one can live in the same zone as Tian Bien. She usually just breaks away from here on. There we go, half body length now ahead of Azahiro of Indonesia. And in third place at the moment, Ressa Dewi being chased down by Isleta of the Philippines, who's done well enough just to take half a body length ahead of her and just half a body length behind Azahira. But uh, Tian Vien having trailed after 50 meters, now 1.05 seconds ahead of Azahira, who is 0.73 seconds ahead of Isleta. And this is where a lot of the swimmers just lose ground, but Tian Vien just gets stronger in the breaststroke. Yes, she has a pretty decent breaststroke, especially considering that she won the gold medal in the 200 meters breaststroke in 2015 and came in and had a silver in 2017. Right now, I think Indonesia is trying to chase her down, but she's holding her ground pretty well. And you'd have to say very well done for Azahira. I haven't seen a Tian Vien this close uh, to a competitor at the 200 meters individual medley for a long long time now in the southeast asian games usually around this point she's at least a body length and a half ahead but and even at least two seconds ahead heading into the final 50 meters but just 0.4 seconds ahead of azahira there might be a surprise here if she loses this this will be the biggest shock in the sea games definitely but no way she's going to lose this azahira probably went out too strong too fast and probably powered herself up a little too much and she can't keep up now with tian Vien loping with the strides and powering herself home in the final 50 lead has been stretched to a body length it won't be a new meet record only because she's just set the meet record at such crazy times over the years Wei Tian Bien easy winner against Azahira and a big swim as well from the 14 year old Jinjuta of Thailand to come home in third position the disappointment for this letter but uh, that's a final reckoning well, Ziandi Chua has actually caught up uh, to actually tie Azahira for second spot. So, very well done indeed for Ziandi of the Philippines. She came out of nowhere, did she? Well, as long as there's a stronghold, it's always difficult for swimmers to break through. And over the last few years at the Southeast Asian Games, it has been the Nguyen dynasty. She has ruled in all individual medley and backstroke events. It was a very strong start side by side with her by Chloe's letter, but... Uh, halfway mark of the race she has taken over already and we saw it in the heats this morning Rowan this letter will use her underwaters but Tian Bien is not interested in underwaters she's just interested in the middle of the race where she'll just pull away she gets up very quickly from the wall and then starts pulling away this letter stayed underwater pretty long and managed to catch Tian Bien but once she gets into the swim that's where Tian Bien starts to pull away again it's very much as we said this morning, it's cat and mouse, uh, where the cat allows the mouse to come right in and play with its fur for a while and then swats it away. And that's what Tian Bien does to all her opponents in the Southeast Asian Games in the 200 meters backstroke. Get close to me and then push you away. Within a second, you have absolutely no chance. 2.10.39 is the Olympic qualifying time. That is a long, long reach for Nguyen and Tian Bien, especially seeing how she's already raced tonight is letter though has got some competition going on with Noro Fitriati and Fonpre Yamsuan of Thailand showing some interest in the podium places they can't catch Tian Bien surely they can't catch Tian Bien yes this is Tian Bien's race to lose but I don't think she's slowing down anytime soon so this one she will probably be adding another gold medal into her collection this will be 22 gold medals at the Southeast Asian Games an amazing 22 which puts her alone fourth on the all-time list is letter yet again bouncing off the walls and using that whip underwater to ensure that she's slightly ahead of the rest of her rivals to, to make sure that uh, she clinches a silver medal of which she has been in that second position for the longest time uh, Petriati of Indonesia is coming back strongly in the final half of this race in this final lap Tian Bien is going to win it comfortably on a canter and another race where she can't break the meet record because she just lowered it for fun over the years. Fitriati finishes in second spot and his letter, who was second for the longest of times, has to settle for bronze. Please stand by for the awarding ceremony. So confirmation of the results of the 200 meters backstroke. Elena Peterson good enough only for seventh position. And uh, that's a new personal best for her, so well done. Tian Vien, first uh, Fitriati in second spot. This letter of the Philippines in third to 18.48 from Isleta.
just outside her personal best and national record which she clocked in Singapore this year.